Hi, I'm Dave Munsinger, pastor of Care and Counseling at Cypress Bible Church, and today's devotional is on power. Everybody, it seems like in this world, wants more power. Big tech wants more power over you. Political parties want power over the country. And we just saw recently a transfer of power from uh, one administration to another in Washington, D.C. And we saw troops gathered around the Capitol that showed a display of power by their presence. So power is something that we can't avoid. We see it. Guys like me want more horsepower under the hood. And why is power something that is such a, a commodity? And who really has it? Who really possesses it? And so I want to just take a look at two Bible verses for us today. Uh, the first one is one of my favorite Bible verses that I will meditate on. I will preach it to myself uh, when I'm feeling anxious. It comes from 2 Timothy 1.7, and it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Now, this past year has been a crazy year with the pandemic. And people feel powerless. Um, it has made people depressed, anxious, a whole host of fears. And so people have lost a little bit of their sanity. Um, and, but, but we have to be reminded, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And so when we feel anxious and depressed and nervous about the future, we have to quote this Bible verse to us. Um, because God has given us the power. And he's given us the power through his word and through the life and the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, in uh, John chapter 19, um, this matter of power comes up between Pilate and Jesus. When Pilate is sentencing uh, the Lord Jesus, Pilate said to him in John 19 verse 10, do you refuse to speak to me? Pilate said. Do you not know that I have power to release you and power to crucify you? And Jesus answered him and said, You would have no power over me unless it was granted to you from heaven above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. You see, Jesus reminds Pilate, Pilate being a political official, thinks that he really has power. But Jesus tells him, no, you really don't. And I think it's easy for us to think that maybe there's real power in Washington, D.C. Maybe um, big tech thinks they have power over us because they control um, the Internet. Uh, there was a song a few years ago called The People Have the Power, um, but really the power belongs with the Lord, and the Lord gives it to us. Um, he controls who has power, who doesn't have power, but the real power is the power of the resurrection, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ and his word. And so my wife um, asked all of us in our family, what's one word that she could have from us that she could pray for like faithfulness or love or joy in this new year of 2021 and so she asked everybody for one word and when she asked me i just blurted out power never asked um, for that from the lord to have power um, and, and and i don't really know how the lord may manifest power in my life Maybe it will just be power over fears. Maybe it will be to be more powerful in witnessing to people. I don't really know. But I thought that that would be a good thing to pray for, is that I would have more of the Lord's power in my life. And I'm wanting to see how he may manifest that as my wife prays that for me. And so my encouragement to you today is to know that all power is, comes from the Lord. And it comes to us most specifically through the person, work, and ministry and the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ because he
He holds power over the grave. He holds power over sin. And he holds the power to forgive us of our sins. And in that, we should rejoice today.